What's up you guys, it's Valley Vaughn, back at you with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about my most luxurious, quiet luxury fragrances. So I have five fragrances in my collection and I feel like they just scream quiet luxury. This has been like the main trend on social media for maybe like six months to a year. Everybody is inspired by, is it Sophia Richie? She has another last name. She just got married. But Sophia Richie kicked off this quiet luxury look that all the girls are doing. Started off with the clean makeup, but now it's transcended to style. And let's take it to fragrance. So if you love smelling good, if you love hygiene, all those sorts of things you're in the place to be go ahead like this video to let me know you like it and comment below let me know what do you think of my picks for quiet luxury and then also what are you wearing what is quiet luxurious in your collection to me quiet luxury is something that's not overstated something that you have to kind of get up close on someone to know that it's luxurious but when you get close to them you just you just have that scent that they come from wealth so the first one is actually a fragrance I'm thinking of purchasing the full size two. This was recommended to me when I did a little day trip to go smell some new fragrances. I do that every once in a while because I tell you guys I live in a small town so we don't have all the fragrances here. I went to go smell some new fragrances and the rep at Sephora recommended this Tom Ford Soleil Neige to me and I was like... I never even thought about this fragrance. It never sparked my interest. But then when I smelled it in the store, and I think she was wearing it as well. I can't recall. But I was like, wow, this is very luxurious. The first thing I actually said is like, wow, this smells like a rich woman. But it wasn't overstated. So this is the travel size of the Tom Ford Soleil Neige. Again, it is such a, a rich, wealthy, crisp sort of a floral fragrance. Almost reminds me of like a Creed scent. You know how Creed, all of, I feel like all of their women's scents, except for the new one that just came out that slightly smells like cherry. All of them smell like a rich queen in England. That's what this fragrance smells like. But there's something that's like very frosty and crisp about it. So that's why I really, really like it. It is a cold floral. That's what I like to call it. And nothing's more frosty than a rich person that has all the, everything they ever want. <laughs> now I'm joking, but yeah, this is a very luxurious, very womanly, rich floral. Um, I think it is like a, a nasally kind of a floral scent. So if you're not really into florals, you may not enjoy this one. I definitely wear this one when I'm going to my classy events, when I'm going out to to church those sorts of things where I want to exude some type of class some ladylike appearance so really like this one and I think I will purchase the full-size bottle again that's Tom Ford Soleil Neige okay the next one we have this one is a little bit youthful this is the Versace bright crystal everyone knows this fragrance I think it's been out maybe 20 years now maybe more this fragrance was super popular when I was in high school I think maybe high school or college so a very long time ago but essentially if you haven't smelled it, it is a crisp bright as the name implies floral fragrance it smells very clean almost kind of smells shampoo-y um but it definitely has a playful crisp soapy very clean floral kind of a fragrance i definitely like to wear this one to the gym i think another thing you should look for if you're looking for a luxurious quiet luxury fragrance is something that's a little bit like soapy something that's clean i feel like a lot of rich people don't wear at least in america now when you get to the arabian countries when you get to the middle east when you get to africa it's, it's different over there but in america i have noticed when i go to the wealthy neighborhoods i don't smell like strong ouds on them they just get a very crisp luxury luxurious soap kind of a scent like and I have some fragrances that smell like that but they kind of just smell like the luxurious soap that they give you when you go to a very rich hotel so that's kind of what this gives but in a more youthful side of it so if you're younger if you're like teens and 20s but you want a quiet luxury fragrance this is definitely the one for you Versace bright crystal yeah there's something almost like a fruity floral crisp clean soapy kind of a scent um so really really like this one it's an easy wear as well we're getting close to the holiday season if you want something that's an easy wear Versace bright crystal is definitely the one for you okay next this is the most old money quiet luxury fragrance I have I would say so this is Chanel I think all Chanel fragrances actually smell very luxurious if nothing else I'm not always the biggest fan of Chanel fragrances but I can say that they all smell very rich they just give rich girl vibes they have some for the young girls it's like Chanel Eau Fresh or Chanel Chance Chanel Entendre if you say that I don't know how to pronounce French words but you know you guys know what I'm talking about so they have some for the younger girls and then they have some for the more mature girls and that's the 
Chanel number no. five range to me. The one that I love the most from the Chanel number no. five range and the best flanker I think is Chanel number no. five low. This is when we were just talking about it smells like luxurious soap. This smells spot on. Like when you go to a very luxurious hotel or a spa, the soap that they give you is very aldehydic. It is very soapy. It's very crisp. It smells like the color white. Oof. Dare I say it gives grandma, it almost gives grandma, maybe great aunt. Maybe not grandma, maybe great aunt, but I really love this one. Whenever I have like a business meeting, whenever I have to give elegance, if I have like a gala to go to, I never have a gala, a gala to go to except for tonight. But yeah, whenever I have to give like actual elegance, regalness, taking me seriously, this is the fragrance I wear. I feel like when I wanna be taken seriously, I want to smell soapy, crisp, clean, and this is the one for me. Chanel number no. five low. I think this came out not too long ago and when I smelled it I was like oh yeah this is coming home with me. I bought it immediately. I didn't have to think. This is the one for me. I love a soapy fragrance and this is one step up. This is like soapy but not like I just got out the shower. It's like I got out the shower. My maid applied lotion to me. They gave me a blowout. I just got a manicure. Like very hygienic. Very sterile but very rich. That's why I like this fragrance. You gotta get it. Okay the next one since we're talking about soapy. If you if you really really love a soapy fragrance if you really want to smell like quiet luxury this is probably more in the like everyone can wear this pure grace by philosophy is my other soapy luxurious fragrance that i just love this is more of like every day um if you're like coming from the gym i wear this to the gym all the time i actually have a backup for this because i wear it all the time as you can see it's almost gone i've repurchased this several times i love this one pure grace smells just like dove soap that's the easiest way to put it if you've ever smelled dove soap bar i'm sure everyone has the, the blue one because they have so many different ones now it smells just like dove soap yeah it smells just like dove soap i love it I feel like it's appropriate for young girls. Even if you work in a job where you're not supposed to be wearing fragrance, I think they'll just think you just smell like shampoo or if you smell like Dove soap or just like lotion. Like it really doesn't smell like much at all. I love it so much though. I swear they used to have a body oil. You guys, they used to have a body oil and I was obsessed with it and I bought it all the time. I don't think they make it anymore, but ugh, it smells so amazing. I smell so crisp and clean and I smell like a rich girl who gets dressed by her staff. It smelled amazing. So Pure Grace Philosophy, definitely quiet luxury. The last one is from Kali. This is their Musk 12. So if you're looking for a quiet luxury scent, but still has a little bit more going on, I know I named a lot of soapy clean fragrances. This fragrance actually has a lot more going on to it. It's called Musk 12. So of course it is a musky scent, but it also has like a sexy floral musky deepness to it. It's very, very pretty. Um, it's definitely glamorous. It's quite luxury, but like a subtle glamorous. It's not over the top, but it leaves this beautiful trail of musky, floral, subtle, sweet skin scent. And it is so pretty. I love layering this. I think that musky scents, I've always said that when you layer a musky scent like this one or like the Glossier U to your fragrance, it just amplifies it. And I feel like that's what this does. It's almost like a your scent, but better, but a little bit of floral and sweetness added in. Love this one from Kali. It sits a little bit close to the skin. Um, Kali fragrances are are known to do that so this one does as well but that makes it even more quiet on the luxurious side so those are my picks for quiet luxury fragrances please let me know what do you think of them what do you, i know you guys have some in your collection that are quiet luxurious please let me know your thoughts and then also if, if you can recommend any other quiet luxury fragrances i should add to my collection please let me know comment below all right talk to you guys soon peace